John it's, and Rachel, you talk about late night. He's I was been watching with Kayla's finger. You've been like doing that. it. Way it too went down long. and back up. I it's John like and Rachel. It's your talk. jag off late night. Yes. And we are. If if you're watching this version of it versus the radio, uh, you'll notice that we are kind of underdressed as we normally are. Not kind of. We because are because we're in our pirates gear and because we were in our warm pirates gear because we were down at PNC Park today for opening day. And I told my this, husband how much you paid for your new pirate hoodie, and he said you better wear that a lot. Uh, yes. So <laughs> so anyway, so that's why we're underdressed. But in the meantime, it's your jag off late night. If you're listening, we hope that you'll subscribe to it on the podcast feed. If you're listening on the radio, just come back every Friday night. If you're watching, subscribe there. Facebook, YouTube, whatever. We're here at 5000 McKnight Road every night. You should come. We actually have a crowd here for the cocktail I love hour. when we have a crowd. We have a couple of married widows. We have some other folks who have been here before. We have people coming to see the musicians. It's a fun time. Amy Knight brought us some cupcakes. Oh, my gosh. Yes. I'm excited. But I'm more excited for you to talk about your blogs this week what was on the blog this week well so the the work the bathtub area which is the parkway was on all over the news because it flooded but that's not why it was on our blog it was on our blog because if you're familiar with the the bathtub coming from oakland towards the fort pitt bridge you know that people ride that right lane while there's heavy traffic and they go all the way up to the merge lane and hit their turn signal on and try to cut in on the left well they're jagoffs and so (laughs) to me no i don't do that whatsoever but but they go up and they clog the right lane because they're sitting there with their turn signal on. You can see there's a picture of it on the blog and it's right here. Mm-hmm. And anyways, they're jagoffs. And I think you could probably decrease the uh, the budget of the, the state of Pennsylvania by just having a state trooper there signing tickets. These, these as are the soapboxes. I'm telling you, you, you could get he, it. But you and do these things. Alloy 26. The it. other blog. This was cool. You know, we have a. We've been talking about. We have a new office at Alloy 26. And uh, the cool thing is, we got an email saying we owed some rent. And it was, hi, you jagoff. It was the best day to be you jagoff. It was cool. It's Other just like we Sam's, Club. Sam's Club. Yeah, right. whenever it says, welcome, yes. you jagoff. That's sort yeah. of like our rent check. It's just such a pleasantry. Right. So pay your bill, you jagoff. Right. That's basically what right. it said. Anyway, thanks to Alloy 26. We love being there. We say it every day, especially on a day like today that it's opening day. Yes. In addition, we would be remiss if we did not remind you that April the 21st at the Block Northway, we are having our standoff, not just any standoff, strawberry, jello, pretzel salad. And that's, you know, the kind that anybody used to make. What does that mean? It means we want your rendition. Well, we have about 13 have renditions. Yes. So please don't offer me Mimi's recipe because unfortunately we can't say yes. We are going with different confessions. Because we don't know if Mimi has cats that lick out of the batter or anything. Right. Right. We know you're kind, but Mimi. But just come and taste them all on but the listen, 21st at the block ding, of ding, Northway. Ding, 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 ding. This just in. Crumble cookie. They have a strawberry jello wow. pretzel salad cookie out. Mary Mac, you got some comp, lady. Uh-oh. Yeah, there's going to be another Bring cookie it. in the, the race. The boys will be judging. So we're pretty stoked for that, and you need to come, and you get to be the taste tester and decide. But our girls, Monica, Erica, and Kristen, are also going to be there to help decide for a People's Choice yeah. Award. So come, taste test, have a great time, and celebrate strawberry jello pretzel salad. 21st, the block at Northway. In the meantime, tonight's guest, Daisy Jade, is here from oh KDKA TV. She has a big a starring role yeah. in American Rust. Yeah. Funny, my husband just said we need to start watching that. Now yeah. I know somebody. There you go. Also, our friends at the Northland Library, it is Love Your Library Month. They are coming on to chat with us about what to expect and who does your hair. Emilio, who does who this cloth hair? right here? He's here. In the meantime, we have a really cool band uh, referred to by your dad. Yes. Yeah. His name is Troy, and we are Trey. Trey. And mm-hmm. we're, get it right, Rach. We are really excited because any kind of young people who are here, we dig it because the music is always great. So come check it out. But if you can't, check it out tonight. We're excited. You jag up late night. But I have a picture from a couple of Christmases ago that uh, we went and we saw the uh, iceberg. Me and my girlfriend got a picture of the iceberg and we put it and we sent it out. Oh, yeah. Here it is. And, of course, my girlfriend's going to kill me for showing everybody. Don't put that on there. <laughs> Is that a mascot or a celebrity? That was a celebrity. Tell us a little bit about the mascot. Pittsburgh mascot. You guys are asking about the Pittsburgh mascot. So every team apparently has a mascot, right? Who knew? Um, so obviously the Steelers have Steely McBeam. I assume that's their mascot. And uh, the Pirates have the Pirate Parrot. Everybody has that one. Very lovable, and the penguins have iceberg, also very lovable. And my kids always would run to get pictures with all of them anytime they could. Uh, and then we, the colleges, you got the Pitt Panthers at Pitt, you got the Duquesne Duke at Duke at Duquesne, and uh, RMU has the Romo, the Paul Revere looking dude, and the River Hounds has Ammo, which is a dog, but his name is Ammo for Allegheny, Minnehaha, and Ohio. We had to look that up. So, (laughs) 
Yeah, so they're all great. The uh, you guys. So a lot of people don't remember, but I do, is because I'm old. Was um, the pirate parrot? I think it was in the '80s. You could hire the pirate parrot for private parties, right? And uh, and this and I found this out as a kid, and this is why I remember it. And um, I, like if you had like a restaurant and you were having a grand opening, or if you had like a car dealership, you might pay to have the private pair come. I don't think they do any of that. I could be wrong. Maybe they do. I don't know. But there was a big scandal because the pirate parrot had a little drug problem with cocaine and uh, and was also s selling or giving it to some of the other uh, pirate players. So there's a tidbit for you Pittsburghers if you don't know. People used to celebrate hard work, the spirit of the underdog. You don't hear too much about those things anymore. The world needs more problem solvers. People who know results matter. Folks with brains and elbow grease. Our work runs through just about every office building in the city like a network of veins. It's not what you are that makes you a steam fitter. It's who you are. I've been thinking that Rorick Automotive needs a new jingle. Rory! Automotive got the best cars around Pittsburgh. Driving a Rorick. I bought it at Rorick. Picked up my new car at Rorick Automotive. I got friends at Rorick Automotive where the staff is nice and the dealership's loaded with brand new cars. And you can drive real far. Mancini's Bakery, 97 years in business and still getting better. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Instagram. That's where you will see various Pittsburgh personalities like Gretchen McKay, Super Bowl MVP Santonio Holmes, KDKA's own Mary Hours, and WPXI's Jenna Harner, learning how to make the famous Italian twist bread. Follow Mancini Bakery on Instagram and Facebook, and remember to ask for Mancini's. It's John and Rachel, you jag off late night, and thanks again to Mitch Dugan. Mitch Dugan is purely Pittsburgh attorney. Love to know that he knows all about the mascots. All the mascots. And then speaking of, some of those mascots have hair. How about that, Rachel? Mm -hmm. And some of us have hair. And Emilio found out that we had hair right after COVID. And Emilio from I Zazu, mean, he knew I had hair, downtown, yes. yeah. Wexford, and all that stuff. You're, you're back on the podcast, and we appreciate it. Oh, man, it's so great to be here with you guys. It's your first Rachel. time on this version. It's my first time on Late Night. Yes, yeah. how about a say? I mean, you were here yeah. for the first night. Cheers, you were, yeah, you first were night. A, quite yes. the actor in our in our pre uh role video. video of good luck oh my breakout the breaking yes. mirrors breakout yes and we broke did you mirrors. get any casting uh, calls from that you know what um still waiting okay okay <laughs> just the same still so listen waiting. everybody knows you are the king of hair you and gino and now uh, caesar you are yes, the kings here you. in pittsburgh for decades you have been doing so many different heads of hair but tonight we're going to talk more about evolution because that is becoming a staple here in pittsburgh oh my goodness we, you're, you talk about like it's being touted right now as like the Met Gala of Pittsburgh. Really? Mm -hmm. Truly. I mean, I would bet. what's really great, nine years ago, Rhonda came to us, um, Richard Barsakian, who is actually going to be receiving the Model Citizens oh, Award yeah, yeah, yeah. this right, year. Right. Okay. Uh, the Ecolution Model Citizen Award, which, as you know, last year it was founded, you know, through with Deb Doherty, or the late Deb Doherty, yes. who was also part of the key. You know, we, I'm she proud started, to say we yeah. were part of this together with yeah. Rhonda, the four of us. And um, and now, you know, it's so great to have, like, Pittsburgh icon Richard yeah. be, um, you know, who's the, you know, one of the founding people as yeah. far as, like, the whole show itself. I mean, yeah. now we're at the ninth year. Crazy. This yeah, is the so ninth yeah, annual right. Right. Evolution for, Fashion for Show. For people who don't know, it's about, you create oh. your own your own like wardrobe yes right? recyclable out of recycled right. yeah yeah so so what's cool about this is that it's all about repurpose reuse recycle right yeah. and like the whole thing about here is about reusing and repurposing so all of the artists we have like now this year it's grown to 20 some lo uh, local artists from this the tri-state mm -hmm. area now it's actually starting to get bigger and bigger because of people that want to come in it's at the carnegie museum and, you know, what's really exciting is that, you know, all these artists reuse 
and repurpose materials mm -hmm. and create these amazing gowns or example pieces last out of year it. what did brandy do from his brandy, thank you that's brandy, our girl our girl brandy man she entered she got in last year because you know here's the reality is we are all artists in our own ways sure there's an artistic yes i do hair and uh, like brandy's a great example she does amazing hairstyles and just is a great hairdresser but then she challenged herself and took like basically and created a whole beautiful outfit Fit, uh, dress out of hair swatches literally mm. literally hair yeah. swatches i said it should have I mean, been a competition because i would have voted for just her. so we say samples yeah. they weren't hair human samples. hair yeah she's not like a psycho hair, no no right. you're correct yes right. yes like a psycho oh, right yes, yes yes no and and then this year what she's doing this year this will be her second year oh in. she's doing it yes she is yes. she's okay. in and and i got a little sneak peek of what she was doing okay. so pretty can't pretty say. cool I'm stuff sure it's cool. can't say okay but it's gonna be cool we'll probably feature it on um ptl sure um but let me tell you something this is really exciting this year also because um, Volpat yes. Construction, you're, yep. you're familiar with yep. Volpat. Well, through them, the Carnegie Museum, they're redoing their chairs. So they donated all of their the original velvet on those historic high Carnegie chairs wow. at the Carnegie Museum. Yeah. And Brian David, who is now going to be our curator this year, with the show, okay. uh, you know, Richard Parsakin has passed the baton. Ah, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, we, he's going to create a, uh, look from chairs to couture. Wow. That is such a nice. good idea. I love and that. Wait till you see, this I can't is imagine. a must come to show. If you haven't bought your uh, VIP tickets or just tickets in general, yeah. I would do get it. them now. Yeah, they because do go fast. I, I think you're it's right. almost. Yeah, right. I, it might be sold out. I'm not right. sure. It really is because I just, you know, because we've been there and I've we've never done been what, to three a or New four York years. fashion show, but mm. it's like you're submerged into New York City somewhere oh. for this amazing fashion show. Like you just don't. If you grew up in Pittsburgh, you don't remember that you're in Pittsburgh. Like this is happening right now. Absolutely. So it's so cutting edge. Well, and and not just that, it's evolving. You know, like you think about how this has evolved. We started at the Fairmont. Yes. You know, at the steps in the Fairmont to now the Carnegie Museum. Yeah. And it's in and, June. And it's so in June, June 5th, yeah. Wednesday, June 5th. It's about 10, 12 weeks away. Um, again, we have some really great people. We have obviously our talent is going to be taking care of the hair and our wonderful uh, team of people at Azazu. But we're also uh, going to be inviting other play other people to be involved in that air arena as well because we have so many great people that have worked with us in the past yeah. that now may ha have like their own you know situations and um, places going. And you know what? I think it's time to like this is all about Collab, one right? one yeah. vision. One, you know, one plus one plus one equals one. Yeah. yeah. And that's truly who we all are. Nice. Yeah. I mean, think about all of us. Yeah. That's yeah. really who we yeah. are. And for I got to sure. tell you, coming back from London this past yes. week, we, we did this for like spring break. It was amazing. Going, I went to the Albert and um, Victoria Museum and saw, we saw with my family, my uh, Ari, Enzo, and Nina, the history of fashion. So I got so, and it was so cool, like being there last week and seeing that and then realizing, man, we're doing this in Pittsburgh. Yeah, you know, like the crazy. oldest church. Think about this. The oldest church in London was 647 A.D. That's where William Penn was baptized. Wow. Okay. Really? That. King George you. the first gave because of a debt that was owed to William Penn. A state called Pennsylvania. Get out of town. How about yes, that trivia? He's questions. like, I don't just really do hair. Trivia. Now, before we, before we, <laughs> we want to remind everybody about Ecolution in June, but you also have some, you, you do our hair. And mm -hmm. you brought some I like love special. That you you're, keep showing you're going it. to like, start it mixing. <laughs> I'm so you're confused. going to start mixing things down there. You're doing this sort of oh, filling yeah. thing. Okay, right? sorry. Yeah, I, I forgot. Bag. We you know we have this bag. bag of stuff and here. And there just happens and to be literally has a bag of tricks. Okay, here we go. This now this is a all right. This is a mixture of. The, all the best the products that are work well for your hair, to, um, mm -hmm. Johnny. So this is our peppermint no tea tree Show shampoo your hair again, so that mixed with knows. a little bit of the um, of the uh, crystal clear clarifier. Yeah. And then I added some silver fox. I knew the silver fox would be in there. Yeah. In there. So you take this and you shake it up. Shake it. I up. knew that was coming. And then you have your own little <laughs> mixture. There you go. Yeah. The only thing that's not in there is Everclear, but that's all right. So. <laughs> Then, All of right. course, you know. So, okay. got the, now so you got something for the rage. Let's bag. see what's in your bag. Let me see. I have. 
Oh, wait. oh, oh. sorry, I have. So, <laughs> yeah. Hold on. so for a, those listening a... on the radio, the podcast, Amelia just pr- produced a head <laughs> wait, with hair. Wait, wait, yeah, let's, let's see what else yeah, is. and okay, we're not sure if he was on his way I'm to the mortuary. Oh, wait, a thirty-year-old. Oh. Um, a, oh, wow. a brush? Oh, yeah. oh one of that's, these curlers. Oh, that's when, the, um, that's when the cork came out with the hand. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, all right. That was a big okay. deal right. back in the day. And a swatch. In a swatch. Oh, yeah, that's some kind of hair. Color, yeah. Yeah, that's it looks like it came you know? off an orange pony. Yeah. And the, oh, here we go. Right. Oh, yeah. This was for you, oh, Rachel. Oh, okay. So this is our custom fill. Now, again, in, in honor of like Ecolution, you mm-hmm. think about repurpose, reuse. The big message is about Earth Day. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Pittsburgh Earth Day 2024, Earth Day every day. What can we do in our lives and in some small way to, you know, be be better citizens about, about repurposing? So in the salon, we decided, you know what, let's take it and let's do a whole sustainable style program by refilling and more importantly, custom filling. So this is a special custom product for you. Rachel, oh Rachel. this God. was the. Um, I use this, this every day. Yeah, now, will this we is consider our smoothing these? balm and our light gel, it's alcohol a mix. free, mixed oh together God. for no alcohol you. In this and one. the whole key about this is mixing these based on a person's hair texture, I got which you. is so we have a whole bar that we've created basically in the salon, and yeah. this is what we believe is the future. That's the cutting We're edge. We're the first right? to do you it. You are the cutting edge. Yeah. Planet you know? to help the planet. Yeah. Pla- yes, yes, thank you. That, and yes, that is what we're doing. That's right. And speaking of that, Owen, oh, this is a That's little spray I made color. for you okay. too. Thank that you. looks like lemonade. It's not. Well, it's now is like, now we normally oh, do I a have junk a cap drawer. In now, here too. Is, would that These be our junk drawer? Would, would okay, that okay, be wait, our junk drawer ca- item? Well, what is that? You, know you just gave us now, a plastic this, cap. Now this this is an old school like way of pulling, um, of coloring hair. This is like talk about history. Yeah. This is a historic piece right here. So what he's showing this us for you actually, listening on the radio, it's like a shower cap with it strings like on it. It's like when older people used bread bags. That's what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. It's like the, yeah. Right? Well, it does. It, it covers. Emilio, Emilio there you go. It, it don't oh mess up your that good thing of hair. Don't do that. Oh, he has it on. He just put it on. If you're listening on the radio, make sure you go look at Facebook and see him in this thing. I see. Emilio, before we let you go, we're reminding everybody it's Ecolution June 5th. It's <laughs> it's Ecolution June, June 5th, 5th and, and uh, Ecolution June 5th uh-huh. June 5th um, Carnegie Carnegie, Carnegie Museum, Museum. <laughs> And, get your tickets. Uh, get your tickets, and we are. Let me see. Where is it? Let me. I gotta have my sheet. Uh, yeah, definitely. It's uh, it's the um, June 5th. Yeah, six o'clock show. There you six go. O'clock. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. All, All right. right. Here's our question of the day. Oh boy. We may be doing a little something something with City Paper soon that has something something to do with karaoke. So, what is your go-to karaoke song and sing one verse? Go. Come on, Emilio. Uh, Oh, living on a prayer. Take my <laughs> hand. Everybody. Oh, it, All swear. right. We're coming back oh, to talk to the library, ladies. You jag off prayer. late night. PittsburghUsedCars.com with hundreds of used cars across eight dealerships throughout the city. We provide the greater Pittsburgh area with a premium used car buying experience. Looking for unbeatable pricing on some of the best used cars in Pittsburgh? Visit Pittsburgh Used Cars Clearance Zone today. We're providing out-the-door pricing on all of our clearance zone inventory. PittsburghUsedCars.com Welcome to Fermanti. Can I take your order? You need a tap it? No, we don't use this. We, we know how to yell the sandwich to, to, to cook. Here we go. Let's dig in. It's John and Rachel. We love to dig into iconic Pittsburgh places like Fermanti's. So we brought our friends from People's Gas. Please call at least three business days before you dig. It doesn't matter if it's a big project or something small like a mailbox, always call before you dig. I called, we can dig in. So please call 811 three business days before excavating so you don't have to call 911. Hey everybody, I am here with my niece, Rebecca. Hi, who's a sophomore at Duquesne University. And our G-Jet, we are making a recipe from this book, which was my great-grandmother's, her great-great-grandmother's, Elvira Venetti Farocco. And this is a recipe that neither of us have ever made. (laughs) No, so anyone can possibly go wrong. We're making a ricotta cake Italian cheese pie is the whole title that she puts on there. It's very specific. Rebecca, what I love about doing this with you, and part of the reason I wanted to do this with you is because you've become quite the baker. I have. 
You I have. I say so. It's awesome, though. Yeah. And you really, you love doing it. Like, you've yes. become the person who makes the desserts for I, the family things. I am the designated family baker. Easter, baking. Christmas, yeah. cookie tray. That's all. Rachel, welcome back to You Jug Off Late Night. You got a little rendition of Living on a Prayer from the one and only Emilio from Azazu. And you just saw that we did a little G-Jet with our jag bragger, Tressa, and her niece, and they were talking ricotta. That's the stories we want. So if you have a good story about a good recipe that your nunny or your bubba or something like that makes, let us know for G-Jet. Yeah. But it's like tradition now. Here we are in April, and we get to talk to the ladies from Northland Public Library. My library. Your library. Yes. The Rachel Library. Yeah. Right. It has nothing to do with and, me. Uh, I just and uh, the cool thing is, is that the library is associated with ice cream somehow, yeah. and we're going to be scooping ice cream. So all this they have really so much sounds to talk about. really, really good. So welcome to the Jag Off Late Night. The last time you guys were here, we were in the studio on the radio, right? Yeah, or no, it was were you Alexis on the, were you on the phone? Yeah, yeah. Here, here, on yeah. The phone. but Alice has not been on in. Oh, so there okay. you go. I'm so there excited to be yeah. here. This is great. But we podcasted last time with Daisy Jade at the <laughs> library, so it's like library. tradition now. This is yeah, what we're becoming. Yeah. yeah. So right. April is love your library month september is september. but next week april is 7th to the 13th is national library week i knew so i had it's everything, I was celebrating everything library you guys are like the nfl every other week yes. <laughs> we have something to you celebrate you own the people's brains right? <laughs> yes like exactly it. yes we make the library important all year long yes. and then extra important a couple times in the year. Yeah, exactly. It's so exciting. So National Library Week, great time to celebrate community and all the wonderful things libraries do. Rachel knows about it. You come to um, our it's North Hills your, Library. It's Rachel's library. Um, it's my library, so right? I know. Yeah, I mean, next <laughs> Monday is the solar eclipse, if you haven't heard. And we passed out 2,000 pairs of solar eclipse glasses no in kidding. 14 yeah. hours wow. to patrons. Yeah, that's cool. We had like 400 for kids 5 to 15 doing a special like science education program. And then everybody in our North Hills communities were able to come and get some pairs for their family. So we're going to be live streaming the Eclipse, um, the NASA production yeah. on Monday from okay. 1 to 4. So, and do our, people our have kids to sign are, up to do that? Or can no, they, they just, can come? just come? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is great. Our yeah, library is for everybody. Yeah. It really, truly is for everybody. So um, I think the yeah. cool thing was when we were there doing, doing, doing the podcast, I just stuttered there, doing the podcast, we watched so many different families go in and out and they're, they're it's picking a revolving up. Yeah, door. it's really not it's not a dead space whatsoever. It's just so cool to see so many young families coming in there and, and taking things from the library, whether it's books, whether it's games, right? I mean, There's we love all things. libraries, but our library did we circulate over a million physical items last year, the most in wow. Allegheny County by a yeah. lot. The yeah. most okay. in Allegheny County. And if you come after school, so if you come at 2.30, you're going to see a stream of high school kids coming and the middle school kids can walk down. So we're kind of in a cool space because the kids can walk to the library and it's amazing how many people are at the library at different times of the day and then right. in the evening we rent space out for communities to host things and um, there's a cooking club that's at the library um, they did a thing on tango one night there that was super fun genetics like, oh, or no, no the, uh, genealogy genealogy genealogy, genealogy. Oh, that was genealogy. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah yeah they're intense the, they're intense. And they do the a lock-in where they like lock in for several hours and yeah. like research. It's wow. Yeah. It's awesome. And at the library, did you know that you can get um, more of that genealogy um, computer database only at the library? So it's free. So you can come and you get more than what you can get just mm -hmm. at your home computer when you t tap into that. So those are like things that are super cool resources that people don't realize right yeah. right like whole entire book club books that you don't have to go and buy a book you know it's all about like re the recycling thing so you can get 10 12 books for your book club with the reading material it's all there at the library so really saving you know saving our environment and it's you know earth month so yes yeah yeah i we think you've been saving evolution. money yeah. as well right <laughs> saving, good, i mean <laughs> expenses are going high yeah. through the roof we i mean my son loves these graphic what? novels he oh, reads them in a novels. day they're like 16 dollars yeah <laughs> so it's a new one we put it on, it on hold it's like yeah read it and yeah i love that that's so. a great so point. we're going to be scooping ice cream tell well, us a little bit about that you know we're celebrating the library also celebrating fundraising that's right dear to our heart yeah you are good at that we love fundraising yeah so next thursday Day, um, at Millie's up in Wexford on Perry Highway. We're going to have a dine to donate event. Anyone who comes and mentions the library will get 
20% back to the library, support a local business, and we might have some celebrity scoopers might? there. Yeah. Wow. I promise John. to not scoop one for them and one for me. Oh, please I know do that. Because I know that's unsanitary <laughs> to be looking for a spoon, right? But I, I'm, a, I'm a Millie's fan, and I could see us trying to do that. Well, so. and not just Millie's, but the Wexford one is Nicole. Yeah. And that's yeah. who we've talked to all the time. So it's the yeah. closest to my house. I've timed it. It's about 17 minutes. So it's nice and easy <laughs> to get there. It's exactly know? seven from mine. Okay, there so, you go. There you go. Yeah. And many, many flavors, and there's pints to go. So, you know, if you're in a hurry, there's pints to go as well yeah so. but a great way to support the library to come have some ice cream get out in your community and obviously you're doing well for the public library we also have the fabulous daisy J joining us on april 20th fabulous. for our garden gala wow she's fundraiser. like the common thread through everything she right is. yes tonight this year is a gatsby in the garden theme Ooh. and we are excited we have our flapper dresses we have jazz music we have classic cars coming that'll be parked out in the garden where you were oh, oh yeah so all kinds right. of oh, photo op opportunities yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah. photo op opportunities again we are about community, so we have a lot of community vendors with some food, some alcohol, you can even purchase products there. So it makes it super special because we are about community, but we also are about supporting the businesses that are in sure. our community. So we wanna kind of be that 360 of helping everybody That's and being there point. for everybody. Yeah. 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 Third place, so you have home, you have school, you have- The you library. Know, That's yeah. it. So yeah. are tickets still available for the Garden Gala? They are, the okay. VIP are sold out, but okay. we have general admission tickets. We'll still um, treat you like a VIP though, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll park your car, we'll and do whatever. When, April 20th? Saturday, April 20th, okay. 7.30 okay. p.m. It's right. kind of fun to be after hours at the library. Yeah. Glass of yeah. wine. Well, last no. year you used the staircase as the photo, right? And now this, or was it the garden as well? It was the staircase and the um, garden, but we have some exciting news. Are we allowed oh. to share the news? That yeah, the you are. Live? You still have time. Oh, okay. Need to know. So yeah. the staircase is actually going away. So we have super exciting things. I know it's, I know it's wonderful, but... It's a struggle, buddy. Sometimes people going up and down staircase. spiral you do it staircase. With little toddlers in your hands. Yeah, yes. it's, it's that's true. Tough. Yeah, yeah. And okay. we're expanding, so the library is expanding. So we are also fundraising for our expansion. The um, state gave us some money to get us going. So we have so many kind of exciting things now that we can expand the library, make better use of that space. Spiral staircases are great, but when you really need that space for all the books that we circulate, everything we put on hold. So there's a lot of big plans happening right. for that. And that's why it's even more the important to come in because you will maybe be your last chance to see the spiral staircase. You're good. Oh, wow. I wish now, we had known we would have cued the confetti. Well, oh, Daisy, no. <laughs> the confetti. So that leads me to the next, that leads me to the next question since the spiral sp spiral staircase is going away. Is that what you're giving to us as your junk drawer item? Is that the junk drawer gift? Are we going to have no. to find I don't see it. Wait, what wait, wait. I have no. in my pocket. These are, are giving from our from Yeah, this, this is from our home. So yes. we, okay. we pick something and so <laughs> <laughs> I wondered if that was the junk drawer. <laughs> it is. So, okay. so those funny. who don't know, Alice's mom is from Ecuador. Oh, and I know. know. <laughs> Love that lady. <laughs> Shout out to my girl. All right, Jocko. Everybody yes. loves you. Just going to say. Yes. So um, we have Ecuadorian change. Here, hold them up. I like so a had a very cool. Very cool. Right there. Can you see? See? Very yeah. cool. So you're rich. Yeah. That because so right cool. now, Ecuador uses the United States dollar. So Look growing up and going to Ecuador, we always had change in our drawers. So we find this everywhere in our house. And then we put it in the junk drawer, except for when Alice goes, hey, wait, I have a quarter here. Yeah. It's not. Oh, and it's, it's not. not. It's it's not. It doesn't work. I think it you could dupe work. any American. I, I, I'm serious. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Chuck E. Cheese money or something. It is like Chuck E. Cheese money. So, so much I better. I am so excited because. Well, we are that excited. Is very right, because nice. I had something that. else that maybe not this. everybody would have in their junk drawer, so you can't have it. Okay. But I. I love when I people re gift their gifts. No. Oh, it's a Heinz. A Heinz bottle opener? No, it's from Heinz Field. So these were on the cup holders. Oh, at the, okay. So when they went away, we have our seats, so we took ours. I love ours. that. Okay, nice. we that she won't awesome. give it to you. Very Alexis, nice. can you top that? Do you have any change I, from I any of your heritage? A seashell. Oh, okay. um, seashell from New, 
the exotic lands of New Jersey. <laughs> oh, yes, we have vacations. Can so. you hear yes, the ocean? From there, so uh-huh. yes. I right, I Michaela yes. feels right so, at home. Thank you. Enjoy that. That's that a is perfect awesome. seashell. I love that Ladies. one. That is awesome. All right. Where can everybody find out more information about the Northland Public Library? At northlandlibrary.org. It's easy. We're on social media. Um, lots of promotion coming up for National Library Week, including, I forgot to mention, the yeah. Name the Book Cart Contest. Okay. We get yes. great suggestions. So last year, the winners were Dolly Carton. Oh, that's cute. The Very Hungry Carter Pillar. You and guys can do it. Rachel Cartson. Uh, Did she say that? She said Rachel yeah. with two A's. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right. That's yeah. Really right. yeah. That's really good. Spelling right All right. Yeah. So check that out. Taking okay. us out to the break here, because we're going to talk to Daisy J. Nix. What is your go-to karaoke song? Do you want to do it together? Or oh, do you definitely together. Do it, ready? Definitely together. Three, you know it. Two, two, one, one go. go. Don't, Don't stop believing. believing. Hold on to that feeling. Don't nice. Yeah. Yeah. Again, yeah. coming up with Daisy J next. Oh, okay. It's your jag off <laughs> late night. At real. People's Natural Gas, we provide clean, safe, reliable natural gas. We're always looking to get cleaner as we continue to protect our environment. And that's also why we support organizations like the National Aviary that are focused around the clock on conservation. Let's hear from them about some of their efforts. A lot of people know about the National Aviary, but not a lot of people know all the conservation work that the National Aviary does. We are part of a lot of conservation work out in the field, and we do things here at the National Aviary. Staff members like myself are part of a lot of different projects. To learn more about the conservation work that the National Aviary does, you can check out our website, aviary.org. We're also always working to make our environment cleaner through our work. That's why we've reduced emissions since 2019 by 17% over 2019 figures. It's your boy, comedian Marcus Cox, and today we are back in Ambridge. Ambridge is actually a special place for me. I actually went to high school here. I spent a lot of my teenage years in Ambridge. Um, originally from Aliquippa, but my mom moved here when I was in ninth grade. From when I first moved over here, early 2000s, there wasn't much. Now there's breweries here. Um, there's a lot of businesses that, that keep springing up. There's a lot of restaurants along here. When I come over here to Ambridge, before I go to work, I like to stop at a place that's called K&N Diner. They have good breakfast. Actually, it's probably some of the best breakfast in Ambridge. Around 2020, I started to detail out of the house. This is during COVID, and I was just doing it on the side, weekends, come get your car clean, maybe like 50 bucks. Once again, a shout out to Marcus Cox, one of our Jag Braggers. He does detailing as well as doing Jag Bragging. We appreciate that. If you want to get on the Jag Bragger part, you know, meet one of them for Jeet Jet or where you at. Make sure you give us a call. All right. Daisy Jade is on here because we know you're from KDK CBS, right? Yes. And, uh, but now we're going to see you on our real TVs, like in a real TV show. And you are playing the part of a news anchor. Is that correct? Well, you're this not playing a part. Well, w- no, actually, I had you're, to technically play the part because yes. um, I, I got you know the call about, hey, can you play this newscaster? And I'm like, I do not talk <laughs> about murders. I right. don't talk about fires. That right. is why right. I specifically went to school for film and theater. I did not want to become a news lady. Sure. But now wherever I go, oh, you're the news lady. I said, no, no, no. <laughs> you know, I'm filming it or uh, entertainment and lifestyle on PTL. Okay, so okay. I, I try to clarify that with people um, because I was always like, I'm an emotional person. I was like, I don't want to have to talk about oh, something right. sad or yeah. scary or, yeah. you know. And so um, I was just talking to, was it John that I was just talking to? I, I literally was stressing out about it because I had to, first of all, memorize some really lengthy monologues, but it was very um, technical and, you know, just very straight, dead on, dead face, you know. And I'm like, how in the world am I going to do this? Because real people use a teleprompter, yeah. right? Ah. And so I'm like, how am I going to memorize this? Because I'm an actress. I can memorize monologues, sure. right? But when it comes to facts, like, you know, 
look now I'm probably going to remember every single word yeah, even like will. a year it's later here. Yeah. but it's like you know um, District Attorney Sue Hurlitz was found murdered in her car and I had to be so like serious about it <laughs> and remember all these random facts and yeah. you know coming out of Snarly's bar after midnight last night you know and so cool. I think that was the biggest struggle was that you know hey this is not how typical newscasters you know have to yeah. deal with right. their day-to-day sure. work right. it was it was definitely acting. I had to actually act, which is pretty. And which is super say cool. What no, movie it's it, American yeah. Rust. Oh my right? gosh, I'm yeah. so sorry. Yeah. yeah. So it is the second season of American Rust. We are so lucky in Pittsburgh yes. that um, it was on Showtime, and they originally had you know not as much success the first season, but Amazon. Um, picked it up because they believed in it. It has um, Mara Tierney and Jeff Daniels, so a really great cast. And it was just fun because the show itself is based in the Western Pennsylvania area. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they drive to Pittsburgh. They, you know, it's it's very much a blue collar kind of crime. Um, He's a detective, or actually he's the chief, I'm sorry. And then, uh, but season two, he becomes part of the Pittsburgh PD, which is kind of neat. So... I have I to admit, though, that. yeah, I have to admit, though, uh, to warn all you guys that have not seen the first season, it's very slow in the beginning because they're, you know, establishing the characters and what's going on. But, man, by the end, you're kind of like, <gasps> what is really? happening? Yeah. And I remember watching it and thinking, like, okay, when's season two going to come out? Also because I knew I was in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, season two dropped uh, last week, and I binge-watched pretty much and, you know, saw myself in the two episodes because I was afraid. That was that I just, did you know you were going to be in it? Did well, you get a heads up? Because, you know, so much ends, ends up on the editing and, room And floor. that's what I was afraid of. Am I going to end up on the cutting room floor? <laughs> well, it was, it was fun because um, Josh Axelrod, who... He does um shout out you know, josh yeah that's yes. right he writes for the uh pg he actually hit me up on twitter and was like did did i just see you do a fake newscast and i was like wait what and then he's like <laughs> no like on american rust and i said yeah actually how did you see it and he said you know being a writer he got to see the um like an early screening yeah, right. sure so I was like, oh, so I actually made it in. He's like, yeah, you did. So I was like, hopefully I didn't suck. Well, how did uh, it even <laughs> come to be, though? Did you hear about it and say, oh, or did someone oh, reach well, out? Right? Again, so you guys know me from KDK, but my background is acting. I yeah. went to school for film and theater, so I still have an agent. Gotcha. Um, shout out to Talent Group. And then, of course, um, so there's talent agents and casting agents, and Donna Belichick casting did the cast the local regional casting for this film so she reaches out to the talent agents and whoever kind of fits the bill you know and i for some reason i always get the calls for like if there's a newscaster type role um so i just auditioned and landed the role and what's interesting though is it was during covid so you know there's there were still a lot of set protocols that were pretty tricky Mm. you still had to do a bunch of covid tests before and then even on set you know you had to have your vaccinations so there was a lot of you know, interesting Red things tape. with yeah, that. Sure, yeah, sure. But I think what's the most fun is um, I had my own trailer. You know, like That's I got what to. Yeah, yeah, I was. Did like, you report the wardrobe and hair? Did oh, they I, do all? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Did you ask for green M and M's? No, I'm oh. not that bougie. Oh. I am not that bougie. I mean, but I would have done it just I, for that time. <laughs> just, just to be like, yeah, yeah. that girl. Just to be yeah. like, I'm Daisy J. Yeah. No, but um, but I have to admit, like- I love the hair and makeup people. They were, they were actually um, my buddies that I've worked with before. Aww. But, but I actually felt like, oh, I look good for a change because sometimes, you know, like you, like I've played a cop or I've played um, a nurse where, you know, you kind of have to look yeah. more like, like down yeah. and dumpy, you know, or whatever. And I was like, wow, they, they did my hair so nice and my makeup. And I definitely felt like a star. It was pretty fun. Was it a long day? I know people talk about, you know, that it's 12 hour days, but you see yeah. yourself for like 30 seconds. Well, what's amazing for me, I somehow luck- lucked out. The, the crew did start at like 7 a.m. or whatever that day. They happened to have an early start. I think I reported maybe like 10 a.m. and then I got out pretty much I, I got there got my wardrobe um uh shot the first scene and then once we did go to lunch there was that break of like oh like I'm not over you know I'm not done yet <laughs> and then um came back finished the s- second scene and then um was able to go home like so for me that was like probably the shortest time on a film set yeah that I've ever been where you know it didn't nice. last very long but uh Listen. but yeah 
So you are you do a great job, and we love seeing you all over Pittsburgh. But the coolest part is you are the six degrees of separation in this room. That is true. You have a connection to the other guests. One, as we found out, you are one of the chairs, right? Correct. Yeah. For the Northland Public Library, which is amazing. So you will be there on April twentieth for For their event. Yeah, I've I've attended for the past two years. Um, uh, uh, one of the board members is a coworker of Perry's, my husband. Yeah. And had asked me about two years ago, and so I love. The, the library, of course, yeah. in general, it's always been, um, a, a, I guess we were talking about third home third or home. whatever. Yes. Yeah. Um, literally, that's where I dream. That's where I read plays, fil- you know, books about films, like interior design. You know, they always say whatever you were interested in as a kid is what you're kind no of mm-hmm. going to yeah. become mm-hmm. as a um, party planning, all that stuff. I would just sit there for hours in the East Liberty. Um, shout out to Carnegie Library of East Liberty and the one in Oakland too. That's where I grew up going. But um, but yeah. But I was honored to be able to ask to help out. And this year, of course, as they mentioned, it's going to be a fun Gatsby. So you guys know I love to dress up. So yeah, that's going to be a fun. Well, wait, one. are you dressing up for Ecolution? Oh, and then yeah. so oh so <laughs> they did ask me this year because I guess I'm becoming like the. Uh, the uh what's it called the MC fashion runway yeah like yeah. mc extraordinaire for all the fun artsy stuff so they actually asked me to mc this year and well i don't know if i'm allowed to say but i was say given it. the option breaking news to wear, <laughs> like a good news anchor am I hit the breaking say the news dress that i'm wearing or yeah Okay, so the penny dress I mean, that was, it. I'm just saying it. Yeah. Brian David is an amazing, amazing fashion designer, and um, he created this extraordinary dress out of pennies. Beautiful dress. So they said that I can actually wear it as I'm emceeing, and that'll be my, you know, my sustainable wow. outfit that I, I can that. wear. And it's gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, it's. Is it he's heavy? the curator this year as yes, well. Yes, and Brian David is the curator. So he's he's amazing. And I've worked with him for Pittsburgh Fashion Week. Okay. I also am involved gotcha. with okay. that. He's actually going to be very involved with that as well. So, um, yeah, I'm, you know, the fashion is girl that too. Heavy? I love the it. The penny so. dress that seems heavy. You know what? I haven't tried it oh, on. Oh, so amazing. I, right. will, I will let you know. Yeah. I will we'll be uh, there. We'll so be there we'll, to see oh, it. Oh, check it out. Yeah. We'll okay. be there yeah. to help yeah. you We're carry it if you need to. Yeah. 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 So, wow. I mean, yeah. So, somehow I morphed into acting to host, a host on PT or, you know, like doing entertainment lifestyle to, yeah, emceeing. Well, and I love red carpet stuff. So, I yeah. always do a lot of that. So, yeah. So, it's kind of weird how my whole career has Listen, kind of scoot just... Listen, over because Perry's yeah. coming on so that oh he can boy. at least sing with you. Come on, so, babe. Yeah. Oh, wow. He, he said, said no. no. He Perry said, won't no. sing. Perry, All you right. have to fall asleep at some point. Listen, yeah. this is my husband. Perry, yeah, there should be a welcome, microphone welcome. down there for got married in September. There you go. Love it. Aww. And we're going on our honeymoon in May because a lot of people were asking, how come you guys didn't go on a honeymoon? Because we were away in San Diego Well, you for know, when we week. were on the radio, we were chronicling the whole wedding. And then yeah. we just were like, okay, they're married now. And yeah. we didn't continue, Oh, no, there's so. more. And then okay. in May, I invited you guys yes. to the, yep. um, we're having a happily ever after party I where it's just a party. So we keep saying, if you miss the San Diego wedding, you're going to miss all the you know cake cutting all right. the first dances we're not doing that we're literally just gonna party and it'll Love probably it. so. rain here too yeah right <laughs> yeah it. right which is fine because we'll be inside <laughs> right right, right as opposed right. to san diego when it rained on our wedding day but yeah well we'll um we're actually it's gonna be at the place that we met which shout out to what was nick's how do you pronounce it Nick's. dan nick's fat city yeah. Nick's fat city. yeah <laughs> dan nick's fat city <laughs> i like there, it I which became diesel which is where we, we met and then of course it became fox, fox and now it's avalon so oh. yes we are going to a club but All it's right. our buddy's club and we're we're excited to go back to the place where we met now before DJ we booth. continue and like get you to the karaoke question do you have something for our junk drawer oh yes well, she brought- didn't so she she must have gone through ours that's oh, me. <laughs> no, I brought you you say, Oh, okay. No, I said I brought two okay. things, but okay. I, you d- oh, you didn't have an Emilio bag. Mm. Yes. That's no, right. I, d- I did not have Who like, does? a magic bag. I brought two things Who because okay. the first thing I picked, Perry was like, eh, that doesn't really have much of a story. But I love, I'm obsessed this, with quotes, but it's, also. It's a, it's a quote from a fortune cookie? Yes. Clever. You are in for an enlightening experience. Dun, dun, dun. So I want to pass that on to you guys. Well, okay. Okay. Really? All right, what's it. enlightening? All right, but we'll the other Wait. thing that Perry liked better was my Shiba Inu pen from Kobe's. Or we have oh a Shiba God. Inu puppy who turned one, and That's then when hilarious. we had a little birthday party, we had these little bags, and we had a bunch of extra pens. So this and is just sitting in our drawer, and you get a Shiba, what? you get a Kobe pen. That so, is awesome. With a little bell. Well, Perry, so thanks for thoughtful. sticking up for us, but thanks we do like this as well. Hours. This actually fits in our drawer a whole lot better. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so I, exactly. We it's better than Emilio's head, right? Well, yes. yes. <laughs> Where yes. does everybody find you and follow you? 
Um, Daisy J TV. I try easy. to make it easy so yes. that it's everywhere. As opposed to, you know, confusing people. So you can find me mainly on Instagram and Facebook. Well, but, we uh, love Twitter that you always that. make time for us. And no, we really we appreciate it. you guys going, so We're going to hear some real music in, yes. in a short bit. But what song are you taking us out, uh, out of oh uh, to the break to so karaoke? Many. And Carrie had to deal with this whenever we drove back from Virginia Beach this weekend. Oh. I was like singing karaoke and stuff in the Do car it. to a... All right, one of the songs. This is actually not Look one that face. I sang in the car. He, yeah, he, he doesn't know. He's three, like, oh, two, damn. One, two, three. I'm so fancy. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> I'm in the fast lane <laughs> from L.A. to Tokyo. Look, I haven't sang it in so yeah. long. I'm like, how does it even go? Uh, I'm, so I'm so fancy. <laughs> yeah, I knew so enough. It's, it's but it's enough. more the rap part. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm known for the rap part. Like I've yeah, rapped I several you. times I in my it. lifetime. On it is John and Rachel. You jag off late night. We are coming back with our musicians. If my younger self could see me doing these things now, I wouldn't believe it. To be a steam fitter, you need to be a problem solver. You can do instrumentation, hydronics, chillers, rigging, HVAC. I have this wonderful opportunity to grow my career. It's not what you are that makes you a steam fitter. It's who you are. Over a hundred years, and we're just getting started. I've been thinking that Rorick Automotive needs a new jingle. Rory! Got a motive, got the best cars around Pittsburgh. Driving a Rorick, I bought it at Rorick. Picked up my new car at Rorick Automotive. I got friends at Rorick Automotive where the staff is nice and the dealership's loaded with brand new cars. And you can drive real far. PittsburghUsedCars.com with hundreds of used cars across eight dealerships throughout the city. We provide the greater Pittsburgh area with a premium used car buying experience. Looking for unbeatable pricing on some of the best used cars in Pittsburgh? Visit Pittsburgh Used Cars Clearance Zone today. We're providing out-the-door pricing on all of our clearance zone inventory. PittsburghUsedCars.com Welcome to Fermanti. Can I take your orders? You need a tap it? No, we don't use this. We, we know how to yell the sandwich to the, the cook. Here we go. Let's dig in. It's John and Rachel. We love to dig into iconic Pittsburgh places like Fermanti's. So we brought our friends from People's Gas. Please call at least three business days before you dig. It doesn't matter if it's a big project or something small like a mailbox. Always call before you dig. I called. We can dig in. So please call 811 three business days before excavating so you don't have to call 911. John and Rachel, you jag off late night. It's just a star-studded night. This is why it's star-studded for our musicians. Alec Rockstar has come twice, and he said, oh, do I have musicians for you? So we get to chat with them. So welcome to you jag off late night. Hello. Thank you. Who are you guys? Because we only knew of Trey, who I called Troy in the beginning. <laughs> he was like names? the billboard person. Uh, I'm Josh. I'm Ben. Okay. Trey is here. He's yeah, Trey is here, right. but yeah. yeah. He's setting up all your equipment. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You were like, you're the name, that, set it up. Yeah, yeah. get that guitar tune. What is yeah. the name of your group? Uh, we're called something under a microscope. Um, Where did that come from? Uh, so really, um, we j came randomly the one time. Um, I really like um, Death Cab. They have a album called Something About Airplanes. So that's where something came from, and I just kind of went from there. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. You didn't help with this title. No. So I'm actually the most recent addition uh, to the band. So How'd I you get to be on the couch? Uh, I don't know. I guess he's I got, got the face. You just you <laughs> shoved Trey <laughs> out. Like, yeah. yeah. He took the inside position. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah. what he did. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Where do you guys, where do you live? Where do you sort of practice? Where do you, where's your stomping grounds? So we're from the Westview area. Okay. Um, we live in Westview. Um, we've grown up in North Hills, all of us. We you went to North Hills? Yeah, we all went to North nice. Hills High School. Actually, same graduating class. Monica, um, bingo yeah. card. What am I about to say? I'm actually on the school board for North Hills. Oh, are you? Yeah, yeah, it's on my bingo card. You can Probably put a little. That, How long ago did you graduate? Uh, 2014. Oh, okay. So, so, like 10 right. years, so she so. didn't hand you your. No, no, all right. no. Yeah. So then, how did you guys all get together? You, you all went. Um, did you know each other in high school, but didn't really 
congeal in high school, or did you start the band kind of back in high school? Well, so Trey and I always were jamming in high school. Okay. Um, we kind of started writing music when we were like 17, 18. Okay. Um, he actually gave me lessons, so that was really nice. Like, okay. Uh, made our chemistry work really well, and then we kind of just kept writing stuff and um, kind of started this band like probably four or five years ago, like really officially, and then kind of just been like playing gigs in the past two or three years and we had a ben like earlier this year and ben, it's what do you play pretty awesome so i play drums ah. uh, how, how i got into it I've, I've known josh and trey for a while yeah but kind of just didn't see each other too often okay uh i i play with a couple other bands uh pretty regularly uh but i went to brighton music oh, where yeah. josh josh is working okay. yeah. stopped in okay. to get a uh Look for a drum head. I wanted to set up a reggae snare because I wanted to do some reggae stuff. And just last minute. Um, <laughs> so I went in looking for a specific type of drum, he drum head. Um, found something close to what I was looking for. I ended up switching out for another, which is a drummer you're doing all the time. But Josh is like, I didn't know you played drums. And I was like, ah, and you're playing like, a while. Wait. And he's like, well, we're kind of looking for somebody. And I was busy at the time. But things worked out. My schedule You didn't write one up. of those ads where it said, <laughs> I saw you. In the in the drum store, misconnection. And you had, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you had a black sweatshirt on, and so if you're a drummer, call me. Basically, yeah. I was like, I don't know, Ben. I mean, maybe we can let you in, but yeah, <laughs> no, no, we we totally want Ben, and it was awesome. It's like, crazy how many people so were cool. go to Bright, Brighton Music anyway, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's like right here in the North Hills, and that's all you hear is musicians talk oh, yeah. about. What a great accolade! Yeah, yeah. it's mm -hmm. awesome. Love What's that. the music scene for you guys like? Like, do you uh, is it helpful to you? Is is it friendly? All the other bands, yeah. you know, everybody um, supporting each other that seems to be what we're hearing yeah so we've been like really into the scene probably the past two years like hard and like honestly people have been so helpful like anytime i've reached out to bands we've played with i'm like hey you guys need an opener or like you have any shows you're thinking yeah. of? they're like yeah we'll keep you in mind and like most of the shows we've gotten we've gotten from other bands um you know uh, there's the times we've like people see us and like things like this where like other connections happen but like it's really other musicians helping out musicians that Isn't really that great what a good mm -hmm. community yeah. that For feels sure. so good what is the one cover tune you hate to hear if somebody says hey play and this. it better not be your karaoke song yeah because <laughs> yeah, then uh, it, free bird probably oh yeah yeah for sure okay. <laughs> so where can everybody find you and follow you uh so we're on um spotify we're on um instagram uh apple music basically everything um we have a link tree uh, it's link tree just um s-u-a-m music um so you can find all of our stuff on there for you uh, um yeah okay mm -hmm. uh you're going to do a song for us what is that song uh so we're gonna play the bow to worm bird um oh, yeah, it's a new single yeah. for us um and yeah where'd you get that word uh so uh <laughs> <laughs> i mean you have some weird ways of coming up with people. um so that one came from me and trey used to just jam at our house all the time when we were writing stuff and we'd go out and take a break and There'd be a bird out there every time with a worm in his Hysterical. mouth, and so it's, it's, it it's our be. song I for him. <laughs> now, before we do that, do you guys have a website? Uh, not an official website. Okay, but so. Spotify yep. is everything. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and do you have something junk for our junk drawer? Junk drawer gift. You got our I junk do, drawer yeah, gift. I do. Okay. All right. Yeah. See, new guy. He said, new guy. Uh, drummer. We got a rubber bikini woman thing. Oh, that's <laughs> 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 what do we call that? So for those listening to uh, this on Jackie. the radio or the podcast, <laughs> <laughs> it's about a two-inch uh, yellow rubber woman in a bikini. Jackie. Yeah. yeah. Jackie. And Jackie. Right there. It's, it's Jackie, yeah. no doubt. And, I love it. Uh, yeah. She's it's our biggest fan. Are you going to karaoke for us? Because do you know why? We're doing something with City Paper that is a little karaoke cabaret. So we want to hear your best karaoke song. Well, Ben does the Macarena. So Stop it. Okay, yeah. Ben. So you got See, here's my here's my issue. I gotta have the Spanish lyrics. I do. I have a friend. I would do the English. I do the Spanish lyrics. Last time I did this at a bar, the Spanish lyrics section it just said instrumental. And I don't have it memorized. Everybody gotta have the lyrics. Instrumental, instrumental, instrumental. All right, coming back. We're gonna hear that. Instrumental. Sing it's your jag off late night. Jeremy and Angie from Discover the Berg here, and we are bringing you the 4-1 to-dos this week. You know, Angie, today was the home opener, and I'm so excited that the Pirates are back for another season. And the great thing about this weekend is that there are games going on every day. Um, you know, it's 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 rare that we get like a five-day stretch where the Pirates are in town. So if you miss the home opener today, I believe there's games today, tomorrow, Monday, and maybe even Tuesday. And the weather's looking a little chilly, but uh, you want to go to that's my kind of That's my kind of weather for a game. Yeah, I, let's I, go. I let's do it. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, so if you haven't made it out for opening day, let's go see the Bucks. So, also, 
the big topic this week. Of course, the eclipse is coming up. And there are actually a number of really cool events and things focused on the eclipse um, happening around Pittsburgh. So uh, up in Riverview Park, they're having a sort of viewing party up there. Um, and w- a cool new bar in uh, in Market Square downtown is uh, Space Bar. They're having a special eclipse viewing event with, I believe, some themed cocktails. Special cocktail, yeah. That yeah. one's ticketed though, so it's probably going to sell out. So hopefully, hopefully tickets are still available, but it's like five dollar to you know snag your seat for that one. And uh, you know, other other places are also having really fun uh, kind of specials that have been coming out over the week. I think Eleventh Hour Brewery is also releasing a beer, having some fun events. And, like you know, just check social media because I think there's going to be a lot of cool you know clip stuff coming out. Um, you know, also Angie, you love food. There's a lot of new restaurants. Coming there out. are. We are kind of seeing a boom in like spring openings all around Pittsburgh, which is super exciting. So. Um, one cool place that we actually checked out this week, uh, is a new bar downtown called ETA. So it's, uh, by the folks from the Warren. So it's, you actually enter from the Warren and it's like a Japanese themed cocktail bar. They have some, uh, really cool highball, highball drinks. And, uh, we had an excellent martini there. Mm -hmm. Um, It was very floral and delicious and they have some bar snacks too. Um, the theming is just on point. It's really fun. Yeah. And then, the, you know, last couple of weeks ago, we went to Fet Fist, the Nordic restaurant that opened. And uh, actually, keeping in the Japanese theme, Otario on Grandview Avenue on Mount Washington just opened this week as well. And we are going this weekend. And Sushi with a View just sounds incredible to me. Very exciting. And then the other last thing we want to talk about this week is that, uh, you know, Three Rivers Beer Week's coming back for another yes. year. And it actually starts on Angie's birthday. Yay! That's like the best it's one of my, yes. Get. It's yeah. a great birthday gift. Uh, so it's going on from April 10th through April 14th. So this is put on by the Pittsburgh Brewers Guild to highlight the craft beer scene uh, around the city. And so there are lots of really cool special events happening at different breweries and um, around and different event spaces around the city. So one of our favorites is the Imperial Brunch at Dancing Gnome. So that's on Friday, April 12th, um, around and brunch time going all day long. If so you see us there, please say hi, but we definitely weren't there if anybody asks. <laughs> so they're releasing a lot of uh, special barrel-aged beers um, from um, they also will have some from around the, you know, other craft brewers around the city, and they're going to have a food, of course, brunch food, uh, music all day long. Yeah, there's so. also going to be fun events at like Grist House, the Brewers Olympics is coming back, Abjuration's having an ice cream social with some probably some ice cream beers, I'm sure. It's going to be a lot of fun. But that's us. That's all there is for us this week. Uh, we hope you have a great weekend. And uh, if you'd like to come check us out, we're at uh, Discover the Berg at discovertheberg.com, Google Pittsburgh blog, run most of the major social, me- social networks as Discover the Berg as well. And we'll see you soon. Bye. We're something under a microscope, and this is the bow to Wormberg. Got to
applause i'm trying to get on i just don't want to like knock you trey you did not get to chat great job what do you think thank you for having me oh, that was a good answer that was John all you got Rachel, to say you jag off late night oh, thank I you to that. everybody <laughs> thank you to Rorick automotive thank you to q92.9 we appreciate it thank you to and all thanks to all of our guests. our guests daisy jade the northland library ladies and emilio from azazu have an amazing weekend and join us next week you jag off late night